Oh boy. I hear water. Does that mean those frogmen are gonna come back? Oh no, just Ada. Oh, thank God. Ada. <laughs> I was worried what for a was moment. What was that all about? Running off like that was reckless and stupid. <laughs> Those zombies are everywhere. Not to mention that thing that got Ben. I was there. The thing. Leon, oh. I know. Look, Ada. As an officer, it's my job to look out for you. But we're not going to get through this alive if we don't work together. Okay? All right. We'll do this your way, for now. I just like how he said that. That thing that got in. <laughs> like it was all one word. <laughs> I go down? Yeah, there we go. Come on, Ada. It's just sludgy, slimy sewer water. Nothing, uh, nothing to freak out about, you know. I'm here to protect you, Mr. Leon Kennedy. Oh, that's what his last name is. Kennedy, I forgot. <laughs> Police officer extraordinaire. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Blindly Play. Oh, I can go out through the water streams. <laughs> and welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil 2 with me, Oix Fu. And this this episode is going to be a bit more light because, man, I was really annoyed last episode. Old draft is blowing in. Yeah, can I open it? Old draft is blowing in. Old draft is blowing in. Yeah, I understand that. Leon. Oh, there's a ledge right there. Jeez. Didn't even see that. I thought it was part of the background. Uh, okay. I see that we have blue herbs. I guess I'll take them because maybe there's going to be some poisoning in the future. Also, why not take them? That's what I really want to know. <laughs> oh, man, we can finally make our way through the sewer, though. What is this? Oh, that's a platform going down. I'm not going to take that yet, because I want to explore the rest of the room. That looks like an... Oh, no, that's a cabinet. Can you open it? No? Can I push it? No? Okay. Can I look at the map? No? Anything on the table? Yes! Handgun bullets! Yes, please! After that fight, I need some ammunition. What's this on the table, though? That's what I want to find out. Sewer manager facts. On the first and third day... No, <laughs> I'm not gonna do that voice again. <clears throat> On the first and third days, Wednesdays of the month, Angelica, Angela, Angelica Margaret, Chief of Maintenance, will make use of the facilities. Be sure to reduce the moisture levels in the facility by activating the fan, as the equipment she will be using is susceptible to the effects of water vapor. On the 28th of every month, the chemical transporter, Don Weller, will use the facility. The chemicals he will be transporting are extremely volatile. Extreme caution should be observed throughout their transport. On the 6th and 16th of every month, Police Chief Brian Irons will visit the facility to attend the regular meetings that take place in the lab. On the 4th Friday of every other month, William Birkin will use the facility to conduct a training seminar for the Chicago branch of Umbrella Inc. As the probability of an attack upon Dr. Birkin will be high, take every measure conceivable to guard his life. You will be informed of all other potential visitors and the times they will arrive as needed guide these individuals to their destination safely. We expect nothing but the best from you. Charles Cole, Secretary Chief. Umbrella. Umbrella Headquarters. <laughs> Got a little bit uh, of a drawl in there, I see. Oh, look! We can save. My favorite, my favorite thing to do in a Resident Evil game that's not one. And I will take this chance to save, because... Actually, you know what? 
there might be a chance that there's already an ink ribbon in it. Yes, there is. <laughs> so I'll save. Jeez. Jeez. If only every typewriter had ink ribbons in them already like this. I mean, it makes sense, but... Uh. Well, actually, no, every... Every typewriter we have come across has had ink ribbons in it like this, so... Just, again, whinging on about, uh... Resident Evil 1. I love that word, whinging. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We got... Only one way down. Well, only one way to go. Down. <laughs> yeah, we've only got one way down as well, this elevator. Now, where are you taking us? Into a lab, I assume. Of some sort. No, it looks... Hey! Who are you? Ada. Leon. That woman was... I have to talk to her. <laughs> oh, that's why she was shooting at you. You have to talk to her. Really? Are you gonna leave him just shot? <sighs> Ada, Ada, Ada. I can't believe you. Ooh, a map. A map. Yes, take the map. Well, hopefully... There's not any strong zombies down here. Because you're kind of screwed with just that pistol. Though we did take on the liquors before. Alright, so she's running down this way. I'm assuming just chase her. Can I read that sign first before going up the ladder? Oh! Hello, spider! How's it going? Nice time you're having, I hope. <laughs> Just a spider comes out of nowhere. That was great. I'm glad I waited, though, because maybe I would have been hit by that spider. Oh, boy. Bugs. Just run. Just run. Yeah, go down the ladder. I'm assuming those are some sort of parasites like the one we saw before, but I don't know. Maybe they were just huge bugs. Ooh, can stop the rotation of the fan briefly. Good thing. Oh, hello. Don't move. You're the one who was with that cop, if I'm not mistaken. Identify yourself. Ada? Ada Wong. Ada Wong. I've heard that name before. Now I remember. One of the men from Chicago who came to assist the T-Virus research used his girlfriend's name as his password. Ada and John, I believe. How did you know? Uh -huh. Aha! Annette Birkin. My husband is the man responsible for the creation of the T-Virus. William Birkin. What? John's dead. He became one of those zombies. My condolences. And although I regret this... You will be joining him shortly. I won't let anyone take the G-Virus away from me. G-Virus? It's capable of creating the ultimate bioweapon. Its potential is even greater than that of the T-Virus. Then that must mean the creature in the police department is... precisely... my husband, William. Oh. And it's all Umbrella's fault. None of this would have happened if they hadn't tried to steal his research away from him. Well, I wasn't going to try to steal the G-Virus, but now that you mention what it's po- it, what, you know, it, what it can do... Maybe... This way. Oh boy, more poorly rendered CG. <laughs> it's sheer perfection. My precious G-Virus. Well, it's not that bad. Ever take you away from me. There he is. 
So you finally come. Doctor, we're here to collect the G-Virus sample. Sorry, but I won't just hand over my life's work. Stop. You might hit the sample. That's it, all right. Okay, let's move out. William. Oh, my. Hold on, darling. I'm taking care of that bullet wound first. Stay here. Uh huh. Alpha team, have you retrieved the sample yet? Affirmative. We'll be at the rendezvous point in one minute. Roger. <laughs> yeah, not really Umbrella's fault. It's your husband's fault. Are you telling me that he injected the G virus into his own body? The G virus has the ability to revitalize cellular functions. What, what, what was that? Something's wrong. Let's check it out. Over there! So, eat this, you freak! What is this thing? No! Hurry! What, what is this thing? And I bet I'm going to fight that by shooting it. So if two trained... Well, I wasn't going to say... I'm not going to try to say soldiers, but... So those rats were the carriers of the virus. As a result of his virus-induced transmutation, William should have lost any prior memories he had as a human by now. Even worse, every G-Virus bioweapon, including William has the ability to implant embryos into other creatures. Oh boy. And create offspring. No. <laughs> Way to go, Ada. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> okay, so main villain just killed, you know, she's probably not dead, but whatever. Um, so if those guys were able to just, you know, if those mercenaries weren't able to take him out using their submachine guns or whatnot, how do we think that Ada or Leon are going to be able to? Jeez. So, um, question is, do we go back to Leon now, or...? Continue on doing our own thing? Not really sure. Actually, we should probably go make sure she's dead. Because the last thing I want to know... Or... Completely dead. Not like lying there mangled and then a rat comes down, infects her, and then we've got another one on our hands. Oh, looks like we were supposed to go this way anyway. has been kidnapped, I guess. Ada? Well, kidnapped, captured, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Just checking the time, sorry about that. Hmm. Oh wait, is this an elevator off? Where does that lead, then? Wait a minute. Come back here, Chris. Oh my... Or Leon. Jeez, I keep saying it. Oh my god, you got shot in the shoulder pretty badly. Should probably take care of that or something. No? Just gonna keep going? Well, that's fine, too, I guess. <laughs> Jeez. What a trooper. <laughs> what an idiot. 
You're not gonna be any use to anybody with a busted shoulder. Let's check. Hello, spiders. I'm not gonna fight you if I don't have to. Jeez, you're spiders. I'm not foolish. Wait, what's that on the ground? Or is that just... It's too dark to see... Ah, oh, it's too dark to see what's inside. Oh well. Oh boy! Take the wolf metal, of course. Probably gonna be good for a puzzle or something like that. Take the- oh yes I will take those shotgun shells. Oh yes, of course I will. Anything else? Come on, you saying between two soldiers they only had- or mercenaries, they only had two- one box of shotgun shells? I can't go up there because of the fan, so I'm assuming that I have to go the long way around and turn off some sort of regulate, turn off the regulator switch or something. <laughs> you guys aren't gonna get me. I'm not gonna stand around long enough for you to for you to be able to. And I'm not foolish enough to try to fight you. Nope. Thanks, but, uh, I'm gonna just keep going. <laughs> oh, man. They're not as scary once you just run away. Ooh, more blue, uh, blue herbs. I am gonna take one of them. Oh, will you use them? No. Don't I? Yeah, I've got room. Why can't I take them? Are those just gonna stay there the entire time, so if I get poisoned... Oil pressure data transmitter. Insert the valve handle and rotate it to move the central bridge up or down. I don't have a valve switch or... Handle or rotating. That's all the way back in the room with the supply chest. Great. <laughs> I love that I have to do this. Maybe I can go through that. Like, I don't think so, because I'm assuming, yeah, the water's too fast to cross. Like, can I do anything with the box? Clearance identification device. Ah, wolf and eagle metal. Well, I can put in the wolf metal. That was easy enough to get. We'll just have to find an eagle metal. And we'll be all set to go through, I'm assuming. <laughs> Gotta be a little bit faster than that to get me. I'm like a blur, in spider terms. The arachnid blur, that's what they'll call me. <laughs> the two-legged arachnid blur. Yep, go on up there. Go on up there. There we go. I know you got a busted shoulder and everything like that, but that's your own damn fault for not bandaging it. Well, it's actually Ada's fault for leaving you there. And going to chase after a woman that she then killed. And then being kidnapped. So I don't blame you that much, uh, Leon. In fact, I don't blame you at all. What else were you supposed to do? Alright, let's get that valve handle. Right quick. And I will see you guys next time on Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil with Miox Fu. And we'll bring this valve handle. Look through a bunch more labs and see what we can do to try and save what I ate along. Alright, take it easy guys.